I'm trying to put money in your pocket, that crypto wallet, that bing bada bing ching ching big profit. What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Guys, I'm going to take you through as much as I can, as quickly as I can. We don't have a lot of time today, but I want to make sure that you're updated and informed a little bit about what's going on. Now, you might have noticed that Luna Classic has started another pump up about 20% on the day. A little of that has to do with just the general market is in a good position and it's starting to feel and meme coin stuff like that are starting to run we do have lenny lunk which is the the only meme coin on uh on the the lunk blockchain so you know the little pieces are starting to fit into place to to create a revival now we do have some problems here and that is that we're being held hostage by a bunch of bad acting validators but we'll work you know look that's on you to to change who you stake with to try to fix that if you are if you're happy with where we are i'm happy with where we are as long as we're going forward right but i don't think that we went forward i think the validator stepped in and they used a facade in order to to stop us now if you like this kind of content make sure you hit the like button subscribe button the bell to be notified of future content and let's kick it off with the first piece of news uh, terraform labs has responded uh, in kind to the SEC, where the SEC said that they had basically created a slush fund uh, for their lawyers, giving them 166 million uh, in order to uh, uh, in order to hold. Uh, it, this is the article right here. It says, uh, in its objection, the regulator argued that Terraform Labs siphoned 166 million into an opaque slush fund. Uh, for the law firm uh, of Dentons. Uh, in a court filing, uh, they said, blah, blah, blah. Court, Terraform Labs argued that the court should overrule the SEC objection, which it described as replete with misapplication of law and factual misstatements and approve its retainer to the legal firm. The SEC had objected to Terraform Labs staggering 166 million retainer paid to Dentons and had argued that the firm should not be allowed to hire Dentons nor pay litigation costs for employees during its bankruptcy. The regulator argued that a $122 million payment to the Denton's advanced payment retainer had been made within a 90-day period prior to its bankruptcy filing and that the money could be used to repay Terraform Lab creditors, creating potential conflict of interest between the firms. It argues that the Denton's should be blocked from representing Terraform Labs unless it returns $81 million in the retainer account and its fees should be subject to oversight from the bankruptcy court. In its Monday filing, Terraform Lab argues that it needs to pay fees and expenses that are necessary to defend against litigation that threatens its ability to operate as a going concern namely the SEC's upcoming civil enforcement action and a grand jury investigation in the Southern District of New York. Lawyers for the crypto firm claimed its ability to mount a defense to these actions would be significantly hindered if the court fails to overrule the SEC's objection, arguing that it was being denied the basic due process of being able to defend itself fully from serious government charges. And that's the U.S. government. The U.S. government is trying to stifle you to prevent you from being able to defend yourself that's your U.S. government for you. Um, and they do it all the time, by the way. This is not something that's brand new. So uh, good to see Terraform Labs fighting back. And that is cause for celebration. Now, uh, the other thing that happened over here is, and this is where you get, this is where your concern should start. Uh, the, the, the Genuine Labs proposal 12087 was rejected. We know that. We talked about it yesterday. But here's the problem, right? The, the problem was they gave it the reason that they did this was the stability of Cosmos SDK 0 0.50. So going through note after note after note this morning, that doesn't exist. Uh, the problem here uh, is not real on whatever it is. Uh, their, their security concerns, their blah, blah, blah. It, it's unfounded so far from everything that I've seen uh, going down through documents, through Cosmos and everything like that. So they're just trying to stifle uh, the the progress of this blockchain. So guys, I can I can implore you so much. Happy Candy Crypto, uh, somebody like uh, Lunk Labs, uh, Lunk Live, you know, Luna Classic Labs. I mean, um, you know, those are the people that sh you should be staking with. Those are the people that are fighting the good fight. These other guys, they're stifling you and they're trying to stop you. Go look at how they vote. Go look at how you would vote. Decide how you would vote. Write it down you know, on some of these proposals and then go see how they voted on some of these proposals. And then you decide for yourself. Don't let me tell you what to do. Uh, also, uh, so we're still waiting for something uh, for here for TerraSwap is broken. Uh, we're looking for that upgrade to still happen. We haven't seen, you know, uh, we haven't seen anything yet. Uh, as far as price goes, uh, look at this. We went and this is something that I told you guys the other day was probably going to happen. And it's breaking out to form, uh, broke out to 23, which was our our first goal here. Uh, then the next goal here is going to be 26, 29, and then 31. So we'll be watching those goals coming over the next little while. 
think that those are probably going to hit. Now, USTC, not as robust, already retracing quite a bit. Again, I don't have a lot of confidence in USTC for the moment because <clears throat> it's only so high it can go before we, we, we get into that situation where, you know, what do we do now? And we have to peg it to something and we have to peg it to a lower amount or something like that. So I don't know that it has the legs anymore to keep up with Luna Classic. It still will to an extent. You know, it'll it can still run up, you know, maybe 10 cents or something like that. But that's a billion market cap for a stable uh, that's not really stable. So it's a wildly speculative asset. So, you know, if you just consider that, you know, maybe this is the, the roof up here. It's still a long way off. But I, I guess you get my, I think you get my point here. There's not too much that you can do with this uh, until you get a solid repeg and a, and a solid design on this. So uh, that's where we are. No proposals up in governance. Uh, up 124 uh, percent on the day, 449 million trade volume, 1.29 billion market cap. Looking for that two to three billion dollar market cap right now as a show of force and a show of strength from the from the Luna Classic community. Uh, USTC 366 million market cap. Like to see that one push up, maybe even 500 million, get to five cents. Uh, and then uh, we'll we're we're going to report again to have that 800 million once the burn is done. Once that's uh, once that's reported and recorded, then you'll see a, a kind of a price pump off of that. So uh, you'll you'll see that happen as well pretty soon. Uh, and then that's that's it, guys. So I think we got through everything. Thank you so much for tuning in. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, get, remember, uh, you know, whatever happens with Duquan, whatever happens with Terraform Labs does directly affect us still, even if we're not part of that ecosystem. So, you know, it's still we're still part of the ecosystem, even if we're not part of the ecosystem, if that makes any sense at, at all. Uh, but, you know, just remember that. Um, you know, where some of this stuff goes, that's where we go for the short term. For the long term, look, we just got to, we got to validate, we got to, we got to stake with the right validators. Don't let people rob us and we should be fine, right? So this is not financial advice. My name is Blaze Mollies, right? Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, bell to be notified and leave a comment down below letting me know that you like this type of comment. Thank you so much.